we colonized Spain. One really important lesson that I want to share with you guys. Everybody please. that's going to blow up, that's one of the books that you're going to have to read. Welcome to the next thing that's going to blow up. The feedback that I'm getting from you guys, like the comments. The WhatsApp text, the Instagram comments, like from all over, from my friends in Malawi, shout out, shout out, shout out there, from my friends in Zimbabwe, shout out, and right here in the kingdom, man, it's been overwhelming, thank you very much for the love, this journey is gonna be fire, like I said, <laughs> it's a fire journey, it's a fire channel, fire things happening right here, so yeah, I actually had a bit of a struggle recording this episode i don't know what was happening you know i I was trying to really you know come up with something that you guys would really appreciate i think i was in my thoughts too much like to really think of something you know like i set a standard <laughs> i set a standard so i was trying to match it so trying to come up with something because like a lot of things happened during like my day and i'm like what exactly could i really really share with you guys so that really got me thinking and i was recording and i was cutting things i'm like ha this is not working this is not gonna work this is gonna like yo you don't know guys you don't know it was a lot of struggle coming up with this concept but then anyways i got something for you guys problem i was having was yo the internet wasn't on my end man i was trying to post these things on instagram like you know so that i can show you guys what was happening but me the internet was incorporating so much but yeah i'm gonna share with you guys so my day was really fire did an iswatini live uh, lifestyle interview killed that thing went to meet and uh one of the biggest organizers in the kingdom killed that meeting too like we're killing the game i'm telling you guys we're killing the game we're killing the game but then there is one thing one really important lesson that i want to share with you guys please listen to this so you know as i'm conversing with this guy i realized something he's not doing it just for fun he's not doing it for growth he's not doing it he has like a bigger purpose to his whole initiative like it's not just about people coming to party and that's all nah he is doing this with a bigger why so today i'm here right here to share with you the importance of a why Please, there's a book by Simon Sinek that you can read further to really understand this concept because your why is really important in this whole journey. So I'm going to share a couple of points, you know, that you can just start with, you know, just to jumpstart you. But then please go read that book by Simon Sinek. That book is beast of a book. Everybody that's going to blow up, that's one of the books that you're going to have to read. So please read that book. Anyways, so... The problem with most of us is we have a why that ends or what he calls a finite why. The problem with that kind of a why, for example, if you say to yourself like, I want to get in shape for summer. Perfect example. That's a why that's going to end. Because what's going to happen when summer comes and then it passes? Like, what's going to happen when it's winter? Are you not going to exercise? Like, it's going to end. If you have that kind of... Uh, purpose that's attached to something that's gonna end you are going to suffer depression like a lot of depression guys like there is this um any purpose that you attach yourself or that you feel like that why you that's why you came here on earth it's gotta be something that's like infinite something that's gonna live past you something that's like big that's gonna live forever like that's a purpose that you can always work for and never get tired because there's no like end point there's no this is the end of the journey you're like okay at 30 i've achieved this and i'm done now nah, you're gonna keep on hustling in your 90s you check people like uh, warren buffett they're still grinding and th that nigga is like 90 what i don't know you check so their wise are really infinite it doesn't end it's forever so you need why that's attached to serving to others as well this is a really powerful point if your why is for you trust me you're gonna get depressed at some point because like it's it's not gonna last forever it's not gonna last forever when you get there then what like look at people that serve others like mothers yo mothers can do that thing for days like 
they can fight for their kid for days because it's really about saving the child rather than themselves. So you find that that purpose drives them. They could move mountain for the kids, you check. So that kind of a why is really important. And that's like love when you're saving others. I mean, you live a blissful life. Imagine when you're saving others. For example, my purpose, I really believe, is to help uh, young Africans realize their true potential. Because like, if you look at history as Africans, we are a really, really great people. I'm not talking about the history that's in like uh, the, the the syllabus that we are learning in these schools. That's that's not history. That's not history. That's like fifty years ago. I mean, I'm talking hundreds of years ago. Like we colonized Spain. That's the history I'm talking about. We built the pyramids. That's the history I'm talking about. Like you know. <laughs> I was listening to some guy, he said oh, the pyramids were built by others. I'm like, nigga, we built the pyramids. What you say, you check. So we have like a rich, rich history that's never really told. And it shows the potential that we have. So that's way my purpose is aligned to make other Africans realize their potential and then execute like crazy, crazy ideas. Anyway, so back to the purpose thing. Uh, your why is gotta be bigger than you. It's gotta be for other people. It's, you know, and also sometimes the why doesn't have to be like something forever. It can be something in the moment. It can be something just you, you are just doing it for that moment. But when you are doing it in that moment, it's for somebody else or for some people. Perfect example. Perfect example is like uh, there's this study. Uh, Bible study accountability partner I have. You know who you are if you're listening. So there is, we study the Bible every night and we are studying different topics. Like we're reading books, like a lot of books. It's not only about the Bible, like we're reading uh, Christian based books and we're chopping them down. But you know, sometimes I'll be really tired, like yo, crazy day. But then I gotta show up because. The person is waiting in the other end of the phone. So, so I can't not read. I have to read because the person is there on the other end. So I can't be like, ah, hey, today I'm too tired. I can't show up. No, I have to show up because they're on the other end. So that the purpose now is to make sure that I don't disappoint the other person. And then we grow together. You see, so that way having an accountability person like that makes the reading even easier. It makes the growth even easier. As I see the growth in them, I also see the growth in me. And then we're growing together. So you see, the purpose is now no longer just for my growth, but it's also for their growth. So if I don't show up, it means I'm disappointing them. I'm hindering their growth. So I have to be there for them. I have to, when they text me about, you know, they're going through something, I have to show up for them. Even when I'm going through something, they have to show up with them. And that vulnerability is also key. Vulnerability is key. It shows that you're not selfish. You know, the willingness to open up your most, your most inner parts, like that you would normally tell everybody, is really key when it comes to growth in anything that you want to do so guys i hope you have taken notes i hope you have uh you you, you have already downloaded the book by simon sinek start with why that book is a beast of a book for those who want to blow up that is one of the books that you gotta read so guys thank you very much for listening i hope you will continue this journey with me anyways uh, I'm still trying to figure out also like what are the most perfect days because I realize posting every day might be really draining on me because like yo some days I be working like crazy I come home and I'm super tired and I the time to record I have to read like I have to work you know I'm sleeping at 12 midnight you know doing these things and now recording it means I might have to cross over to like 1 2 a.m. so yo guys I have to figure out a schedule that will really work but I'll let you know when it's up uh, and also, oh, we're going to be having guests very soon. I've been talking to some people and they are loving the thing. 
some people have, have even been approaching me they want to be guests so it's gonna be fire like i said guys these are the people that's gonna blow up shout out to my first subscriber you are the best you know who you are you know you know you know shout out to you shout out to you and shout out to you all 34 first viewers plus seven subscribers man you guys really made my day you are really special please let others know the fire things we're doing here and until next time peace i'm out